and the, the legacy applications just don't work. And the IT guy can't say no to CEO, so uh, so it gets done. Um, and all users are mobile now, so it, people do work uh, close to 24 seven. They want to be in that because they're emailing when they're at home, they're asking their files when they're away at a conference or just traveling or meeting a customer. So you know, they're demanding that availability. Um, so really, what this leads to is what what's IT 2.0? It's software as a service, uh, pay as you go. Rather than software licenses, which is one big purchase and hopefully you use them. It's infrastructure as a service, not hardware purchase orders, which take potentially three weeks and cost lots of money. And it's driven by the user as opposed to the IT department. So now the user has a requirement as opposed to the IT department giving the latest bit of software and training everyone. And I guess that leads into what, what is cloud computing? Um, I'm sure some people know, some people don't. The definition, even though I work in the space, seems to still be arguing about it. But from my perspective, and what seems to be an accepted definition now is that it's IT resources, so servers, networks, storage, applications, on demand. So as much or as little as you need right now. No waiting, no three-week purchase orders. It's scalable up and down immediately. And I think the real key point there is it's scalable down because traditional IT is only scalable up. Um, it's manageable by the end user. They don't need to submit a support request to the IT department. They can do it themselves, probably through a web interface. Um, and critical to this is, is it's a business model change as much as it is a technology change. So it's metered or built in a usage model. So what you use, you pay for, as opposed to you buy, you buy servers or applications and hopefully you use them reasonably efficiently. Um, it's broken into three areas. Uh, infrastructure as a service, which is what I'm going to focus on today, uh, which is servers, storage, and network, and really the base of IT. Uh, platform as a service, which someone else manages the infrastructure and gives you a platform, Ruby, Java, .NET, and you build on top of that. Um, and software as a service, which is the applications and a whole other sector. Yeah. And infrastructure as a service is broken into these three areas, which is public cloud. I think most people might be familiar with Amazon Web Services. And they really, they really invented this cloud industry. It all came from when they started selling infrastructure on a pay-as-you-go model, uh, and it shook up the entire industry. So it's infinitely scalable. There's as much resources as you can consume uh, on demand, so you don't have to wait. You should be able to get them straight away. And you only pay for what you use. They manage the data center, they host it, and you never see the servers. The likely thing is you don't even know where the data center is. Uh, private cloud, which is a much disputed term of isn't really cloud, but it seems to be accepted now. Uh, so you have a dedicated infrastructure that your IT provider manages on your behalf. Uh, obviously, there's limited scalability, but unlike public cloud, it's not a shared service. There's more than one customer on it, it's your infrastructure. So if you have security concerns or you want to know where your servers are, that's probably might be a better option. Um, and I think where this is going to go in the medium term is, is hybrid cloud. So IT companies aren't going to, or companies with IT departments aren't going to ditch their investment. They're not going to bid everything and move to public cloud as much as providers might like that. Um, they'll most likely piecemeal bids on the public cloud. Maybe it's their backup, maybe it's their email, maybe it's their web facing things. Um, so I think it'll go that way over time. And why are we here now? So what, why is cloud computing happening now? Why didn't it happen a few years ago? Um, I think you know there's four evolutions in IT so far. IBM with hardware, Microsoft with software, uh, Google are probably the undisputed king of the internet. Um, and there isn't a cloud dominant provider. Uh, you know, maybe it'll be a company from this room that'll be the dominant cloud provider. You know, there's plenty of people playing in the space at the moment, but there is no one dominant name. Uh, and I really believe it is as big a space as hardware, software, and internet. Certainly, that's probably why it's getting as much hype as we have. Uh, it's comparable to the age of electricity. Uh, apologies for anyone that's heard this analogy a thousand times already. Uh, you know, you had a factory years ago. You, if you had a factory, you had your own electricity generations.